Hey everybody, Harry Poncho here, and we're back playing Spyro the Dragon. Last episode we were in the Ice Cavern. We actually took a little bit of a shortcut. We glided down to the uh, key for the chest, and now we need to go back Thank to the chest. Thank you for releasing me. You're welcome. <sighs> okay, take this guy out. Charge, charge, flame. Flame jump. You almost never use the triangle button in this game. I just thought of that. You got the X button, you jump, the square button charges, circle button flames, triangle button looks around. Oh, dude, seriously? Wow, I just ran right off the edge. Oh well, good demonstration to the checkpoint system. Go right back to the last dragon you saved. Enemies nearby will respawn. Of course, they don't have gems again, so they have these, these little silver orbs. If you get like 20 or something of those, you get another life. So you can make up for screw ups like that. Kill enough enemies. Or is it if you come back to levels that you've already beaten, like the early Artisan Homeworlds? Now, dude, there's no way you can reach me from that far away. Where's that bat? Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, here's our blatant hint. We're supposed to charge the big ones. Ooh. Complicated there. You see their feet so slippery, you just throw them right off the edge. <laughs> there are a lot, actually a lot of enemy concepts in this game, where you kill them by uh, d throwing them off the edge. <laughs> Kind of funny. All right, and the chest is right back up there, so let's run back around in the circle real fast and go pick it up. This is actually the most efficient way to, to do this level. In order to get everything in this level, you have to sort of backtrack a lot, especially the uh, extra lives at the end, because that's what you can glide to from the very beginning. Is there's some extra lives over there that you can get? I gotta miss the gem right there. And you can glide to them from the very beginning and then immediately like exit the world if you need a couple extra lives. It's nice. I guess that's one good thing about Ice Cavern. But other than that, there's not really very many redeeming qualities, just because, eh, it's kind of lame. It has some good, uh, good secondary areas, though, later on. Where's this guy? There we go, just charge in circles. You get them eventually, right? Same thing for the thieves. <laughs> you charge just slightly faster than them. And if you cut the corners, you can catch up pretty quickly. You charge around out here. Try not to fall off. Boom! Right in the face. Now we got a dragon there. It's a dragon. Asher. Thank you for releasing me. You're welcome. You know Asher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen. No, oh, okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> There's the return home portal, but we're not done here yet, so let's go past that. Pick up the rest of these gems back here. There's another extra life for us. Oh, there's a lot of them in this level. And there are three extra lives on the platform. The beginning of the level is right back over there. So if you glide around to the right, take a little leap of faith, you'll eventually get around to those extra lives. If you line it up right, that is. Otherwise, you could just fall into the pit and lose a life. But hey, you get three tries at it, right? Because if you get the things, you get three lives back. Now we're going to drop on top of these little things. Work our way around. We'll take out some more of these big guys with the armor. Boom! Oh, love the sound effects. I hate those guys you actually can charge, too. The ones on the skis that I just got. Boom! It takes two to get him off the edge. But I don't know, I like the flame just because they're kind of... They look like, like I see him and I think, oh, big enemy got a flame. But I think that... Yeah, you can charge him. Dude, ah, uh, I was trying to stop in midair, but I couldn't because I was in mid-charge. Boink. Pick up these gems. It's kind of... You don't have to line it up perfectly because it's kind of hard to miss these things. They made the hitboxes on them really big. Hitbox is the area on, on the uh, screen where you go, you can hit them, basically. And the wider it is, or the taller it is, is you know the easier it is to run into the thing to get to register that there's been contact. Takes two, huh? That's fine. I got more where that came from. Where's that bat? You fly underneath them, or you run around underneath them. I should come down. Yeah, here they come. Got one. And you can run off. You don't have to wait for sparks to finish either. He'll chase after you, catch up pretty quickly. He's a lot faster than you for some reason. Is this gonna do it? I mean, it's gonna do it. 400 to 400. And we get Ragnar. You've done well, Spyro. Some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. Ready for what? <laughs> Classic Spyro dialogue right there, guys. And I believe that the exit is right down here. Yes, all right. Return home. What's the next world we have to go to? Is it the flight? Yeah, it's the flight. All right, this is going to be the first one of these. This is going to be fun. I haven't explained this concept yet. 
But their level's called Flight Levels, or Flights for short, where basically Spyro can fly. And uh, normally, you know, you just glide, so you sort of like fall down over time, but here's the first one, Night Flight. Once we get in here, Spyro can fly completely. Of course, the thing is, there's no real enemies. Basically, you fly around and collect treasure by destroying things. You boxes, crates, planes, boats, whatever. Now we're flying through rings. Boink! Now you see there's a timer in the upper right-hand corner. If it gets to zero, you lose. You don't lose a life or anything, you're just sort of done for a minute. And there we go. Now, to get these golden chests, you have to flame. You can't just run into them. Rings, you just fly through. With the chests, you have to flame. So you see, there you go. They start, they start you out right in, the middle, right in the beginning of the rings. So go ahead and fly through those. And the end of the rings will put you right at the chests. So go ahead and pick up the chests, too. Alright, while we're here... Oh, don't hit the ground or you'll uh, stop. Alright, once you got through the chest, dive down and start just following the, the uh, arches through here. Now, it's hard for me as a kid to figure out what I was supposed to do after the arches. Basically, I keep following them around, and there's going to be lighthouses. Here's the first one. Flame them to light them up. It took me a while to figure that out as a kid, because I didn't realize what they were for. I, I had actually failed the first time, so I, I got everything except for the lighthouses. And when I got to the end, uh, I looked at the like finishing screen that tells you how well you did. And it said, you know, all eight arches, all eight chests, all eight rings, zero, zero lighthouses. And I was just like, what? And there you go. You get 60 gems for each one that you complete, that you get all eight of. And then you get 60 more gems for getting all four of them in one go, just like I just did. There anyway, I did it in 112. If you, think you, if you think you can beat that, go ahead and put up a video response. That was actually pretty quick just then. It's kind of hard to do while talking. Oops, I don't want to try again. What am I doing? we got another five minutes in this video. Man, I don't even know what to do now. I think I'm going to take on the boss. Why not? There you go. There's a quick 300 gems for you. There's the flight. Night flight. That's the first one. And now it's time to take on Dr. Shemp. Confronting. You notice it says confronting instead of entering. <laughs> I don't think we would really want to enter Dr. Shemp. I don't think either one of us would like that very much. Alright. Let's get right into it. I love the enemies in this level. I love the sound that they make. Let's listen to this. <laughs> Let's turn off the music for a second. So you all can hear this. <laughs> he throws himself off the edge! <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Because I mean, I, I, mean, I took a hit there just so he'd keep going, but oh man, that was funny. <laughs> they just throw themselves right off. <laughs> oh, that cracks me up, man. That is so funny. I'm telling you, they, they were laughing when they made this game. They were laughing. Anyway, charge through this little shortcut here. And it, you'll, you need to, because there's going to be a guy coming through right after you. If you're not charging, he'll run right into your, your, into your face. And uh, he'll take a hit from that. Alright. Charge around back here. Behind this thing. I think we have a... Oh, she's around the corner, isn't she? Yeah, there we go. One of the women back here. Use this whirlwind. Woohoo! Up to the top we go. And now, besides getting the gems up here, there's a rock out there. With a single purple gem on it. To pick that up, and then from here, you can glide down and pick up the key to get the chest later on. Alright, now we've got the key, and that chest from up, that jump from up there, we can run down here, grab these gems, and talk to the dragon. This guy thinks he's so cool. You don't know what it's been like listening to him over and over. But I'll tell you one thing, he should watch his back. Well, there's another very blatant hint for us. Good advice, good advice, dude, good advice. Whoa, whoa. The camera's turning around on me. I didn't know where I was facing for a second. Anyway. Oh, I shouldn't have glided down here yet. Because we're going to come down here anyway. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take out this lady and then go back in. Alright, it's time for us to confront Dr. Shemp. That's him right up there. Look at those sunglasses. He's so cool. Oh, scary. Playing him in the back. And he, uh limps his way over to the next platform, actually extending the bridge as he goes. Now chase after him here. Now avoid his attack. Oh, no, actually, he's going to turn right around for you there. So get, a, get a flame on him quick, otherwise he'll turn around and smack you. 
And I believe this next one we have to jump over his attack before we can get him. There we go. Oh, oh, I didn't flame in time. Crap. Do it again. Dude, not cool. Jump. Oh, dude, I hit, I hit the X button, nothing happened. There we go. <laughs> Got him. I gotta pick up these gems without any help. Dude, that was weird. I think my, my controller is getting, getting old or something. Because I hit the X button and nothing happened. He just stood there. I was like, no, don't do that. Ah, 25 more there, and we got what, five more down there? How did I miss those going through? Is that going to finish it up for us? Looks like it. And rather than climb back up to the top there and run around, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, exit the level. It doesn't matter. You don't lose a life. You don't lose your gems. You, you get everything that you did. It just automatically collects it for you. There you go. 2,700 gems is our total now. And it's time to go talk to the balloonist. Actually, I think we're going to do that in the next video. So in the next video, we're going to head to the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> we're going to Disneyland!